first thing I'm going to do is create the button that I want to link my pop-up from. So I'm going to go into Categories, People, and this blank button I'm going to make a Therapists folder to link to another pop-up. So go to Settings and choose Modify. And then I just need to edit uh, the label and the symbol, etc. Change the folder type through style, select the shape and the border color to match the other folder buttons. Okay, and that's our button we're going to link from. The next thing that we need to do is go and create our pop-up. So we go into our menu and choose settings, and we choose page creator. Then we need to find a template that's already been created uh, that matches the page set that we're using. So I'm using pod 15 plus. If you're using a different setup, then go into those templates. And I'm also in school. Most of the time, if you're creating a pop-up, you're probably going to choose uh, the 15 plus pop-up no turn or the one with a turn. Turn the page so that you can have extra uh, content. I'm going to choose no turn and then click on create. Then we need to give the pop-up a name. So I'm just going to call it um, Therapists. You can go and check uh, what all the other page names are to see if you can continue with that theme or create just your own name. And now our pop-up's ready just to edit. One of the nice features about being in editor is you can just type on any cell, hit enter, and it'll go and search for a symbol. We just need to look for a person. And I'm gonna choose that one and select. And then our next one, I'm just doing a few examples. So once your page is populated with all of the information that you want to have on it for the different therapists, you might even have um, something like speech, and then you've got speech therapist that you can select as a symbol, etc. Once you've done that, you can then go into the file menu and choose open because you want to actually go back to the page that you have the button you want to link from. So we'll choose File Open. Save any changes, yes. And then it'll take you to your page, page browser to find your pages. So we want to go back to People, choose Select. Then we actually want to modify the therapist's button. So click on it so that it brings up the little red circle with the three long bars and click on those bars to bring up the little um, modification pop-up. What we want to do is actually click on Actions. We can then go into the search bar and search for Open Pop-up. And it comes up with some uh, one option, but there's actually a little pencil next to it which means there's some different variations of that particular action. So we click on the pencil and the action that we want to use is this one here, open pop-up and then in brackets, page name, XPOS, YPOS. So before I choose it, I actually wanna make this my fav a favorite so that it comes up in my favorites list and I don't need to go and find it every time. 
which is a good time saver. So make it a star and then actually click on it to select it. What happens then is it starts moving through all of the parameters that are in those brackets and it starts with going to your page browser so that you can find the page name uh, of the button you want to link to. And that one was the therapist page. So we're just down here, you select it, choose green select. Then we need to enter an X position and a Y position. They're the positions that the pop-up will appear on the screen. And basically I know that I need zero for the X position, so tick, green tick. And I need one, six, two as my Y position. And then I will choose the green tick. Then delete any other actions and we're ready to click on done. So now if I just click off my modifying, I can choose exit, save any changes. And now I can just test this. If I click on therapists, it opens my pop-up beautifully on the page and it's positioned correctly. Just as a little um, guide, when you're looking for um, what those X and Y positions need to be, that will be consistent throughout if you're using a 15 cell pod. Uh, it's slightly different for the 60, and it's zero for the X and it's 84 for the Y. Um, for the 15, all of the 15s, you will need to use zero for the X and 162 for the Y. The reason I know that is if I go back to my main page, back on my main page, I can just have a look at some of these buttons here and see what happens um, with the pop-up. It'll tell me what position those coordinates are. So I do modify, click on chat words, and you can see in the under the actions, it's got that behavior, but the zero and the 162 are there. So that's consistent for any pop-up that you're going to create. You'll need to have that X and that Y position. And that's how you create a pop-up and link to it.